So I've had some requests lately for recipes using lemongrass. And so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, well, this isn't going to be brand new. You guys know I love to make a Thai-inspired noodle dish. Sometimes I will use rice. But today I'll show you how to put this together. It is wonderful. You don't have to have fresh ingredients like lemongrass and kefir limes. But if you do, go out and get you some and throw them in here because it will give it that little pop of freshness that makes it wonderful. You can also get those at the Asian market if you wanted to give them a try. But I'll limit the recipe to about five ingredients. And that way you can make a simple dish if you want and then you can kick it up a little bit if you have some fresh chilies or lemongrass. So I grabbed the kefir limes and some leaves, some chilies, and then down in the garden the lemongrass is really beautiful this time of year and so I want to get a couple of stalks of it. So my lemongrass has only survived one winter where I live out of six winters and so I will usually have to plant this again every year but in a lot of climates you can grow it year-round. I will go ahead and clip off these blades because they are extra sharp and I don't want those. So I showed you how to grow lemongrass in a very detailed video. So if you missed it, I'll leave a link below this video. And here are the ingredients. You basically just need about five things and then you can add a protein if you want to and then fresh herbs if you have them. But the paste has all of the main ingredients you need like lemongrass and the kefir lime and that kind of thing. So the paste has got you covered. That's where all your flavor is. So I'm going to use some homemade chicken broth and I use a whole chicken when I make my stock or broth. So whenever I go to use it, I like to strain off the fat cap and I will also leave a link for you on how I make my chicken broth slash stock because I use a whole chicken when I make it and sometimes I'll put things in it like onions and celery and sometimes I won't because I just want to have that little richness of a broth or a stock. So the main ingredients you'll need are some noodles. I'm going to use a sweet potato noodles. I think you also call these glass noodles. These are just what I happen to have in my pantry but rice noodles are typically used and I think you can even get those at the grocery store but I'll leave a link below the video if I can find these on Amazon Prime. I really like the texture of the glass noodles. And you'll need just a variety of vegetables and then your chicken broth, a can of coconut milk, and the Thai curry paste. Now I'm going to add a protein and I'm going to use shrimp but you could certainly use chicken too. And then for my fresh herbs I'll use some kefir lime leaves, a kefir lime, some fresh chilies, lemongrass. I also picked some Thai basil and then I'm going to use a little bit of ginger because I think the ginger, the fresh ginger just makes it really good too. I also have a lime. I want to use some of the lime juice from this. So I want to go ahead and get the noodles ready and then just follow your package instructions. You usually just cook these in boiling water until they're tender and then you rinse them in cold water and set them aside while you get the rest of the dish ready. So in my pot here I went ahead and added some oil and I like to kind of cook off the paste a little bit first just until it starts to smell real fragrant. I don't want to burn it or anything but I do want to kind of bring out the flavors. So just about one or two minutes on about medium heat and now I can add the chicken broth and now for the herbs the kefir lime leaves and the lemongrass which I smashed and the ginger put some of the chili peppers I minced them and I just want to bring this to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer and now I can add the vegetables I'm using zucchini and broccoli and carrots so the vegetables were getting tender after just a couple of minutes and I went ahead and added some sliced serrano peppers because I kind of like to have a big bite of chili here and there in this dish and now I can add the coconut milk and the noodles. So I'm on about medium low heat. I went ahead and covered it to get it warm because those glass noodles kind of cooled it down a little bit. Once it was starting to steam I went ahead and put the shrimp in here so they could just gently cook. If you are going to use chicken I would recommend cooking that first before you put your paste in here. Cook your chicken and remove it and then um, go ahead and do everything that I just did then put your cooked chicken back in here at the end because the shrimp only takes just a few minutes for it to cook and it's just smelling so good. I decided to go ahead and add some of the kefir lime zest 
and then I also picked a little bit of cherry tomatoes which I halved them added the basil leaves and some fresh lime juice and there you have it it was ready to go I like to go ahead and remove it to like a casserole dish so that it can cool down a little bit and the shrimp don't overcook and then I helped myself to one great big bowl and I curled up in the recliner and just enjoyed it it is so delicious and so there you go I hope that you can give this a try and like I said I'll try to leave most of these ingredients below the video if you are maybe on Amazon Prime I'll try to see if I can find them on Amazon Prime and as always please feel free to head on over to my playlist section on my channel or over there I have a little bit of something for everybody thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day